Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm playing in my new It's My Ray Ray palette. This is the box. The box is a sleeve and it has the different shadow colors on it. But her actual eyeshadow palette looks just like her original BH palette. Very pretty with the rose gold packaging. It's the same size but not as thick of course because it doesn't have the contours and highlighter in here. But it's a really, really cute little eyeshadow palette. Has a mirror as you can see. And these are the gorgeous shadows. Now, I really, really like the fact that there are kind of warm tone shades so you can do a nice basic looks if you want. But you can also add that pop of color. And you can do some gorgeous monochromatic looks. I, at first I was like, why? is there two shades of the same color in this palette <laughs> but I understand it makes it very easy to create monochromatic looks and I really think that was a genius idea on her part to choose those colors and give you a shimmer with a matching matte I think that was a great idea so as you can see it swatches very very nicely the mattes are nice and smooth highly pigmented and the shimmers were very, very pretty, had a nice sheen to them, and they swatched very nicely as well. I really, really like this palette. I think it's perfect for travel, you guys. But anyway, back to the palette. It's a very, very cute palette. Perfect for travel, I think, combined with her original palette. These two would be all that you need to take with you. So let's go ahead and get started with this look. I'm starting out with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as usual. Using that to prep my lids for this look. Now I think I'm going to use tape today because I want to have a nice clean line. Save myself some problems. I'm going into this purple shade, which is Majesty. So this is a matte purple. And I'm just building this up in the crease nicely. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous purple shade. I really like it. It's very, very pretty. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just really blending out the upper portion, kind of blowing it out into my upper lid because I want it to just kind of fade away fade away actually into my upper lid area. So I'm using the shade Brick, gorgeous transition shade to help blend that out. Now I'm going into this color Cacao or Casal, I'm not sure how you say it. It's just a dark brown shade. I was using that to try and deepen my outer corner, but as you can see, it really didn't do much. It's not dark enough. It's just a nice gorgeous brown shade but not dark enough to deepen my outer corner. That's one thing that I really wish was in this palette was a black but there's not. So now I'm going into this gorgeous green shimmer called Showgirl. I'm going to spray my brush to place this on my lid. As you can see I'm not doing a cut crease or anything with this. I'm actually just placing it on my lid because I want it to just kind of gradiate into that purple shadow. This color is gorgeous. On top of the purple, it actually looks like a little bit of a duochrome. Now I'm taking the matte green and I'm going to use that to deepen my outer corner. And this worked better than the brown as you can see. It just gently deepened. Not too dark, but it did enough just to create a bit of dimension to this eye look. So now I decided I wanted to go ahead and use some purple eyeliner for this look to help make the purple pop. So I'm just lining the upper portion of my lid with this purple eyeliner that I got from AliExpress. Y'all know I'm trying out these colored liners. And I'm also using my black liquid eyeliner to add a little bit of contrast next to that purple liner. So 
so this is how the look is turning out so far you guys and I kind of like it so let's go ahead move along now that my complexion is done and I'm going to go in with my gel cream eyeliner and this is like a emerald green shade I actually ended up tossing this liner because it was dried out I've had it for too long so I need to replace them I'm going back into the purple and I'm just using that matte purple shade to smoke out my lower lash line Now you guys, I got this highlighter palette, Unicorn Glow, from ShopHush.com before they went out of business. And I decided I wanted to use this gorgeous iridescent purple shade. As you can see, I used it to highlight my cheeks as well as my upper brow bone area for this look. And now I'm using it for my inner corner. You guys, don't be afraid to use color. It's springtime. Bust out those bright highlighters and just go for it. So I'm using my Tarte Tardius Pro Mascara today. Ended up tossing that also because it's dried out as well. Using my favorite purple Kiss Lip and Eyeliner. I love the color of this lip liner, you guys, but it's kind of hard. It's not nice and smooth and creamy to use, but the color is just gorgeous. Now I got this lip gloss from Forever 21 last year during the spring and it's kind of like a duochrome lip gloss and these are perfect to bring out for spring they go great with looks like this and I think this one is perfect for this eye look it matched perfectly so this is the look today you guys I wanted to do something different with my Ray Ray palette and I think mixing the green with the purple was something different and unique to do and I really really like how it turned out hopefully you guys did too and I really had fun creating this look so thank you so much for watching you guys I really appreciate you please hit like comment and subscribe and I will see you on my next video toodles